And teens in Indy are calling for an end to violence with a peace march in just a few hours. They've seen friends and classmates killed by guns, and they say enough is enough. Sunrise reporter Anna Carrera is live for us this morning over on the east side of Indy. Good morning, Anna. Hey, we told you in the last half hour about how they're going to be starting this march on Washington Park here on the east side. They're going to come down at Keystone here and end up here at the Juvenile Center. You may remember there was a peace march like this last year around this time of the year, and it was the first big event put together by a group called We Live Indy. It was founded by high school students who were tired of seeing their friends and family getting killed by gun violence. They say they want people of all ages to be involved in their youth movement, but they have a very special message for people who are here at the Juvenile Center today. That's where a lot of kids are who are in trouble or in need. We want to just pray over them to pray that they get the right guidance and awareness that they need to get through certain situations and to help them know that there are people out here waiting, like, that really care about them. To use our voices and to try to be a positive influence to our other peers around us, then that's when we can start, you know, decreasing this violence. So this is where you're going to be able to see people walking coming up in the next few hours here along Keystone on the east side of Indianapolis. That march they're planning to start gathering at 11 o'clock at Washington Park here on the east side. They're inviting anyone to come out. The mayor is expecting to go and of course hopefully hundreds of other people will have all the information about it on our website WTHR.com. Alyssa. Pretty cool that they're so doing this. Anna. Thank you so much.